What's up guys, welcome to Johnny's Hobbies. My name is Johnny, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build an RC boat trailer. And a shout out to SoFlo RC Life. He made this video like this about three or four years ago. I watched it over and over again, and I was super inspired, and I was able to build one of my own. So today I'm just gonna be taking you guys on the journey that it took for me to build this RC trailer. What's up, y'all? This is Jonathan. A few weeks later, um, the trailer build is complete. Um, quick disclaimer, please watch the full video before you decide to do your own build. Um, don't take it step by step because there are some steps I made mistakes on and then I edited it in afterwards uh, how I fixed them. And there might be some steps that you don't want to do. So um, definitely watch it. If you got to watch it at two times speed or something like that, watch the full video first and then... Uh, go ahead and build your own so you don't make the same mistakes I did. find where I want to cut do like that and just keep doing like that like I said should cut like that perfecto I made a mistake um, as you can see looks good over here but then cuts way too close right here so I got to change the angle but once I change the angle See, it's not even meeting now. Once I change the angle, it's going to be even further apart. So what I think I'm going to do is, um, I got, I got some extra here. I'm going to take this extra, I'm going to cut it in half. Uh, then I'm going to tack it together. I'll show you guys how I do it. Just make sure you go ahead and file the back when you're done drilling so that the rivets uh, stay in place and so that they press down properly. I don't know. You know what I mean. All right. Finally got... He's tacked on both sides, and as you can see, it now meets it's a little, it's, probably, it's way longer than the boat, but, but looks pretty good. As you can see, that angle is pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure the width of the boat. It comes out to roughly 10 and a half inches. What you want to do is you want to cut out a piece of your flat bar an inch longer than the width of your boat. Mine's 10 and a half. I'm just going to go ahead and add on the extra half inch and do a foot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some holes and tack this on the underside. So second brace is going to be right across here. Okay, so what I did here is I just straightened out these edges so I can put them together like that. I'm gonna start out with 332 here for my pilot hole.
right now, I'm going to make another brace for the trailer. I decided I'm going to have it about right there. Um, And so my placement for this is kind of, see where the, ball, the angle of the bow starts about right there and somewhere over here. I want it halfway between that. And then I'm going to make another piece coming back from here onto there. It's gonna kind of angle up like that to hold the boat in place. I'm gonna make sure that this right here is straight. And then get your Sharpie, mark where to blow those holes, blow those holes, get your rivets out, get your rivets, rivet, get your rivet, your rivets out, and just tack that together like this. This part right here, um, kind of just feel it out depending on the size of your boat and the angle of the bow and all that stuff. But I think right here is a good point for me. So I'm gonna drill through there and tack it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend it up to the angle of my bow and just see how it rests on it. So I did have them back a little bit and I think they're gonna be a little bit closer together, but I think I'm gonna have them right here. Um, Cause that's about where the boat's gonna be sitting on the trailer. As you can see, all the electronics are right there. The big motor is right there. Um, and even on the stand, that's the only way it balances a tiny bit of space between whatever surface it's sitting on the rudder. So what I'm saying is all the weight is right there. So I think the closer I have the wheels to that point on the boat, about right there, right there, it's gonna be best for uh, balance. So make sure you mark down the center for where your wheels are gonna be and then line up this first piece and drill your holes. All right, so far this is what we got. As you can see, got some suspension on there. So what I did just now, and I'll take the boat off so you can get a better look, but um, I just, press down and I bent these in just a little bit to match the angle of the boat. So I finally got the axles and wheels and everything all put together. Um, I just used epoxy to hold everything on there. Just be careful when you're doing the middle one because you still want your uh, suspension to work. Uh, just one thing I'd suggest is be really careful when you're cutting uh, the threaded rod because you can mess up the threads and it'll be really annoying trying to get the screws on there on there you'll have to do some trimming um, so just use a rotary tool uh, what else was I gonna say oh yeah be careful also to not cut it too short because I cut a couple of them too short and it was really annoying uh, trying to get the wheels on there I had actually had to shave out the hubs in there and um, as you can see, they're a little bit offset now, some of them. This side's not as bad as this side, but this one I really had to, yeah. Anyways, you can't really notice it from far away, but I know it and it's annoying. So yeah, just be careful with, just really measure, just measure properly. Um, so next thing I'm doing is I measure it up, one on each side. I gotta kind of build this up first and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. And the foam that I used on this is uh, 15 millimeters by five millimeters and three millimeter thickness. This right here is going to get tacked right there. I'm just gonna get some foam tape on it. Now it sits on there 
very nicely. It's looking really good. All right. So next up, I've got a piece of cardboard. I'm going to mock up some fender. So I'm just going to bend this into shape and then cut it out in metal. I ended up using this metal seat instead. Just got it at Home Depot. And um, I bent it to shape. I already flattened it out, but I bent it to shape and then I marked where well, I marked where one of my bends, bent it to shape, kind of adjusted it from there. As you can see, you don't get it right the first time. Um, bent to shape, now I'm flattening it out. And I realized that it's a bit long, so I'm just gonna go this way. It's gonna be a little bit short, but then I'll just measure up my bends correctly and make sure it fits. So I took a long pause on this project for a few weeks now and um, just ordered this the other day. The hitch came in today. Um, I'm gonna install it, see how it looks, see how it functions. Hopefully it functions well. Um, yeah, let's get right to it. So I believe I am missing some parts, but this is pretty much what you should get. So I did have to use a 332 to uh, make these holes a little bit bigger so I could get the screws through. So I got this part all put together. What you do is you just Put it on like that, lock that in there, grab this little piece, put it through, just turn it until it locks and do that. So what I did here to get this piece on was I just bent a piece of metal 90 degrees, um, I screwed it on there and then I just blew a hole and I put a rivet in there for it to stay. Now it's nice and steady. It's not not going anywhere. So I actually had to turn down the power on this thing all the way to 50% because it was just so torquey. I wouldn't want to pull it slowly. It still can barely do it now on 50% power, but let's see how it looks. So that's the full trailer build guys. Everything looks good. The truck pulls it better than I thought it would at 50% power. Um, not too fast, not too slow. This hitch looks really realistic, functions perfectly. Uh, the trailer's pretty solid other than the two wheels falling off. I thought lock nuts would be enough, but um, maybe they will. Maybe I just need to screw them on, screw them on a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to take this thing out. I wish I could in this video, but the lakes are still frosted over. 
Um, but as soon as they are liquid, as soon as they're not frozen anymore, I'm going to be taking this thing out. So if you guys want to see that, definitely subscribe. Um, that video is, I don't know when that's going to be coming out. Probably within a couple weeks or so. It's getting pretty warm up here. Um, yeah, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys can build your own. I'd love to see you guys build your own. Again, shout out to SoFlo RC Life. Watched his videos countless amount of times to be able to build my own. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it.